Hey guys, it's Trey here, and today we're going to create another React component. So in the last time we created a React component, it was the carousel component, and today we're going to be creating another component that is reusable, and it will be a list component. So basically it's just going to be a list that um, prints out whatever you put in the list. So let's go ahead and create this. So... I'm going to go under the components folder and create a new folder called list. Inside of this list folder, we're going to create two files. We're going to have list.js and then we'll create another file and call it list.css. All right, so we have our JavaScript and our style files. So let's go here. Actually, we um, commented out this carousel, and I'm going to add the list in here. So let's say list, and import list. All right, so we've added that. Now let's go ahead and create our component. So in Visual Studio Code, I can just type in RFCE and it will generate a functional React component for me. So inside of here, we're going to pass in some props. So we're gonna have one prop that's called title and it's gonna have a default of FCV list. And then we'll have another prop that we're going to call items and these items are going to be um, basically what is passed in that we want to actually put in the list so if by default we're just going to have um, a list of one item that says no items all right so down here we're going to um, on this outside div we're going to have a class name of list all right then inside of here we're going to create another div and this div is going to have a class name of title and inside of here we're going to pass in h2 and we're going to pass in the title then under here is where we're going to be putting our items so we're going to map through our item so we're going to say items dot map and then inside of here we're going to want to get the actual item and the index so we have the item in the index and now we can go ahead and put our actual markup here so we're going to have an outside div and this div is going to have a class name of content all right inside of this div we're going to have another div and this div is going to have a class name of text and then under this div we're going to have um, another div and this div is going to have a class name of delete so now this is pretty much everything. Let's go ahead and add in our text. Our text is basically just going to be um, the item. So um, in our case, it'll just be this no items right here. So we're just going to print that out. So we're just going to say the item. All right. And then this delete is going to be a icon. And it's going to be FA trash alt. All right, and this FA trash alt comes from the React icons library that we added before. So we're going to say import FA trash alt. And then we're going to import this from the React icons library. And there's going to be slash FA. So now we have our icon in here. So this is, oh wait, before I do this, always remember that you're, whenever you map, you need to add a key to your, the item that you're mapping. So um, for react or else it'll give you some uh, some warnings about that. So the key is just going to be the index That's why we got the index So now we set that the content should have a key of index. So now we have our Markup complete. This is how The list will look so let's go ahead and actually take a look at this list and this is what we have So we have this FCV list uh, with no items in this I got here. So obviously this is not how we want it styled though. So let's go ahead and handle the styling. So in here, the first thing I'm going to do is our 
outer div, which is our list div. And inside of here, um, we're going to have a width of 50%. We'll do a margin auto. And let's see how that looks so far. We have to add our CSS file. So we're gonna go dot slash list.css. So when we import that, all right, there we go. So now we see it's gone in the middle, which is what we want. All right, and from here, we're going to also add the display of flex, and then we're going to do um, justify content. Then we're gonna say center, and then align items center. All right, there we go. So we got that. We also need to have the flex direction to go column. I'm, there we go. So now it's not sitting on top of each other. So there we go. We got that. Now we can go ahead down here and handle our next part. So we just did the list styling. Now we're going to do this title styling. So we're going to say dot list dot title. And then in here, we're going to have the color. We'll just set it to like purple or something. And then we'll have the background color. We'll set that to like aquamarine or something. There we go. So now let's take a look at that. All right, awesome. And we need to set the width to 100%. That way it'll stretch all the way out. All right, there we go. Oh, and last but not least, we need to text align center. All right, so that looks decent. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, so next we're going to do the content. So we're going to go list dot content, all right? And then in here, we're going to want the width of the content to span 100%. And then we're also going to want the height of the content to be 2EM. Then we want the display to be flex. And then we want to add a border bottom. And then it's going to be one pixel solid. And then we'll just do a light gray all right so now we have that let's do our text for the content so we'll have dot list dot text and then in here we're also going to have a width of 100 percent they're going to have a display of flex then we're going to align the items and then we're going to set that to center then we're going to add some padding to the um, horizontal not the vertical so we're going to do zero for vertical but then we'll do 0 0.5, well, we'll just do five pixels. Let's just do five pixels. And then I think that's, I think that might be all we need for the text. All right, and then last we need to do the delete button. So it's gonna be dot delete. And then um, we're going to have a display of flex. Then we're gonna have a justify content center and an align items center add padding of just five per five pixels and that should do it let's take a look see what we have there we go so now this list item looks a lot better it's not sitting on top of each other looking crazy and now we just need to add some hover mechanics for this so well uh, hover styling i should say all right so we're going to do dot list dot text and then we'll do a hover and inside of this hover, we're going to do cursor pointer, and then we're going to do background color, and then we're going to set that to aquamarine, and then we're going to add a transition. This is going to be the background color, and there's going to be 200 milliseconds, and there's going to be ease in. All right, and we're going to take this same transition and add it to the text as well so that when we stop hovering, it's gonna do the transition and go back. So for the delete, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're gonna do list, delete, and then hover. So it'll be cursor pointer. And then we're going to do the background color. We're gonna set it to red. And then we'll just paste in that same transition. So that transition there transition there and now we should have the styling complete so now when we hover 
it lights up and it goes away all right so that's good now we just have to add the actual functionality of the clicks so let's go back to our JS file and in here we're going to add a couple of props but they're going to be actually functions so basically it's gonna be like callback functions so when you click um, we're going to execute the function that you passed in as a prop so the first one we're gonna call is on item click and we're going to have a default here and it's going to take in an item all right and then we'll just console.log it console.log item all right so that'll be our first callback and now we need to create another callback that we're going to call on item delete and then here's going to be the similar but we're actually going to pass in an index with it and then we're going to call we'll just log this too i guess so we'll just log this as well console.log and we'll just say delete it plus item all right so now we have our two callbacks and then there's one other thing i want to add here is going to be called can delete so can delete is basically going to say if you can delete um the items on the list so the way we're going to do this is let's just go ahead and add these callbacks first so on the text we're going to have an on click event so when we get this on click event we're going to call our on item click um, callback so we're going to get an arrow function inside of our on click because you can't just put it straight in there you're gonna have to do a function first and then inside of that function you call um, the callback so we're gonna say on item click and then we're gonna pass in the item all right and then we're gonna do the same thing down here for the delete it's gonna be on click and then we're going to pass in a function and then we're going to call on item delete but we're going to need to pass in the item and the index all right so there's that and now we need to handle the can delete right here so we're going to handle the can delete the way we're going to do this is we're going to have a open curly bracket right here and there we're going to put can delete and then we're going to put two ampersands and then under this div right here under the uh, delete div we're going to close out that curly brace so now it's going to be can delete and then we have two ampersands and then the delete div so if can delete exists, then it will render this div. If can delete doesn't exist or is false, it's going to not render this div here. So that should do it. Now let's take a look. And we can see that the delete disappeared because we have not specified can delete in our app.js. So there's nothing here. So if we were to put can delete here, so if we say can delete, and then just save it our garbage can pops back up and we can click the can delete button and it says deleted no items because that's uh, that's our default method that happens and if we click on let me clear this if we click on no items then we get no items. so we just get the uh, whatever that item is back all right so this is pretty much it um, you can define your own actual real functions for this if you want to out here so I guess I'll do do one of those just to do it um, we'll set the on item click and then we'll just pass in another arrow function here and then I'm going to have the item coming in then inside of here we're just going to alert it alert clicked item 
So now that we've actually passed this on item click into our list, this on item click method won't be called. This on click was just logging it. Now we should get an alert pop up. So let's click and now we get an alert pop up and it doesn't even print down here. But that's how this works. And you can also implement your own delete method and figure out how you want to delete stuff from the list or whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next one.